In this media, you will learn about a typical control panel. The panel is completely metal clad, which has dust, moisture, and vermin proof. Generally, the panels can be freestanding or floor mounting type. All doors, removable covers in the panel, are gasketed with neoprene gasket. If ventilation louvers are provided, they should be screened with brass or galvanized iron GI wire mesh. The inside and outside of the panel should be clean and smooth with proper welds, rivets, and bolts. Anti-vibrating strips or plates need to be placed between the panel and base frame to absorb any shocks and vibrations. Most commonly, the cable entries to the panels are provided at the bottom of the panel. The cable gland plate fitted on the bottom of the panel is generally connected to the earth plate through the copper conductor. The switches, push buttons, indicating lamps in the panel should not be fixed less than 750 millimeters from the bottom of the panel. Then, the relay, recorder, Meters in the panel should not be fixed less than 450 millimeters from the bottom of the panel. All wiring within the panel should be done with stranded FRLS tinned copper conductor with PVC insulation. A mimic diagram and symbols which shows the exact representation of the system should be provided in the front of the control panel. All equipment which are mounted front, back, and inside of the panel should be provided with individual nameplates with equipment designation. Then, the top of each panel should have the nameplate with that panel circuit designation. Each meter and instrument should be marked with its rating and quantity measured. In other words, KV, A, MW, and so on. All nameplates are made of non-rusting metal and should be white letter with black background. Each panel shall be provided with a lighting arrangement for interior illumination of the panel. And these lights are controlled by the respective panel door switch. All panels should be connected with a securely fixed earth bus. Then, all metallic cases of relay instruments and other panel mounted equipment should also be connected to earth bus by a copper wire. Most commonly, the color code of earth wire will be green. All indicating instruments should have a circular scale and with a dial of 96 mm by 96 mm. And these instruments dial should have black pointers and black numbers with white background. Then, the dial must be free from parallax error. If the digital meter is used, it should have at least four-digit display with display size not less than 25 millimeters in height. Finally, the alarm annunciation system should be provided by means of visual and audible alarm. Thus, you have learnt about a typical control panel.